Four games without a win for Manchester City in the Premier League. And Pep Guardiola admits they were well beaten by Aston Villa in midweek. Let's go live to the club's training ground. Ben Ranson was talking to Pep a little bit earlier on. How was he? Yeah, I thought he was in a feisty mood, actually. He seemed to come out fighting, sometimes in these press conferences. And you can imagine, because uh, Pep Guardiola has a lot uh, on his mind when it comes to football. He obsesses over every element, doesn't he, of a team's performance in a preparation. He comes out, he takes a little while to settle into them. But today, from the off, he had plenty to say. He was very honest, very candid, again, about how they play, have played recently, and in particular in that match against Aston Villa. Because when it comes to their form, it's just not been what we expect of Manchester City. That defeat in midweek, sealed by Leon Bailey's goal, meant that City now haven't won for four consecutive Premier League matches. That's the worst run for Guardiola in the league since uh, he arrived here in that first season, which we know was difficult. And in his managerial career, would you believe, he's never, ever lost five consecutive league, league matches in a row. So he is obviously in the middle of some somewhat of a crisis. Not that he'd see it that way. He's been largely happy with performances. But as I say, there was some honesty about where City are at right now. I think for everyone in the club is good living what we are living. I would say, I think it's necessary to live that. We live for many, many times, for a long time, uh, how good we are. Like a cat, you know? Like <laughs> how good we are. And maybe we need it to say, guys, this is so business. It's terrible. It's terrible. You believe in beautiful and you don't know why. Oh my God, we are not able to win one game. And from nothing here. I said in the big moments, you know, Jack, you were here many years. Even the big moments, I was realizing that. So, but maybe for myself first, I need that challenge to prove myself again. I'm a good manager. Pep there doing his best impression of a playful cat. And that was a bit of a theme. He certainly, as I say, had plenty to say. There was a little twinkle in his eye at different points. And uh, he quite enjoyed the little exchange I had with him uh, about Kevin De Bruyne, speaking specifically about his return. Now, we got the news, didn't we, that he's been included in the City squad for the FIFA Club World Cup, which comes up in a couple of weeks. Now, while Guardiola is not necessarily expecting to see him play any minutes in that, he's obviously looking forward to having him back, even though perhaps the absence of De Bruyne wouldn't... Uh, have him drawn on whether they could repeat the treble. Here's what he had to say. Still, is, I think I started to run on the pitch, but I didn't, he didn't train once with us. So, And the World Cup is in two or three weeks. So I don't know. I don't know. Maybe it's a little bit early, I would say. But I, I don't know. How important, though, for your hopes this season of possibly repeating what he did last year is his returning to fitness to, to help you out. We're talking there about midfield in particular. I mean, he is one of the best in the world when he's playing. Repeat last season, what does it mean? Yeah, repeat. Like how important for your chance of repeating, repeating last season is repeating having Kevin De, De Bruyne results. Yeah. Repeat the treble. Well, why not? Yeah, yeah. You're still in the trophies, right? Yeah, yeah. OK. Can I ask you about another City midfielder, Calvin Phillips? Uh, ben, he's still very much in the England conversation, but is he in the City conversation? Is he going to stay? Well, there is conversation certainly about his future, and that reared its head again off the back of him not being selected in midweek. Now, Rodri, as we know, has missed four matches through suspension. There's no doubting he's how integral he is to the City team because all of those four matches that they have actually lost, three in the Premier League, once in the Carabao Cup to Newcastle. And it was the Carabao Cup loss that had for Calvin Phillips make his only start of the season. Since his move, he's just not been given the trust, the confidence of the manager. He's not played many matches at all. And Guardiola today had somewhat of an apology for Calvin Phillips. In midweek against Villa, he decided to pair John Stones with Manu Akanji, two central defenders by trade in that pivot in the centre of midfield. Phillips, in turn, had to sit on the bench. So, obviously and understandably, the question was asked about whether or not Phillips may well leave the club in January. I feel so sorry for my decisions for him. I said many times. So. He doesn't deserve for one second while doing, don't give him minutes. I'm so sorry. So, But about that, it's him, uh, Jauhen. Yeah, Only I can say you're asking, asking a good behavior, a good personality, a good character, thinking about the end. And this is a perfect example. And after that, I got to give you something. I didn't do that. So, 
It's just because I visualize some things, I visualize the teams, I visualize things that um, struggle a little bit to see him. That's all. But it's not for I'm not very pleased, and I feel so so sorry for him. That, I would not say that because at the end it's a business. I have to be professional. I, I act like a, with a good when I win, winning is a good decision, and when I winning is a bad decision. But when one guy behaves, eh, I don't care. For the way he behaved with the maids and everyone, I care. So that's why I hopefully can turn around and I've said many times, I don't know if I'm going to generate. If he stays, I'm more than pleased. So Calvin Phillips then, his future remaining uncertain despite those uh, positive words and that apology from uh, Pep Guardiola. And it really is a huge game. I mean, in terms of a fairy tale, Luton hosting the treble winners Manchester City is a fantastic match, isn't it? A fantastic rivalry in the Premier League. But for City, they can't get caught up in that fairy tale. They've seen themselves slip further off the pace in the title race this week. They have pulled big gaps back before to win Premier League titles, but they don't want to get the likes of Arsenal and Liverpool. Let them get too far ahead, do they? So it's imperative that Guardiola and his team find form and get back to winning ways this weekend.